The Cotton Bowl in Dallas, Texas has got the Tulane Green Wave and the USC Trojans. USC currently a two and a half point favorite. The total is 62 over at BetUS currently. Right again, I am recording this on the 22nd. So uh, it's Monday, January 2nd at 12 p.m. Central Time on ESPN. This number has kind of fluctuated a little bit. It's gone back and forth just a touch. Tulane has never had, excuse me, has never gotten to a point where they were favored in this game, but that's okay. Uh, you look at the numbers from week eight of the season on, I think a lot of people would be surprised that USC is less than a field goal favorite over Tulane. But Tulane is really good. You look at their strength of record, you look at their PPA margin, which their predicted points added margin is significantly better than what USC has, and that all has to do with USC's defense. That defense is atrocious. Number 127 PPA per drive on defense uh, since week eight of the season here. That's what these numbers are, by the way. The thing that you need to pay attention to the most, Tulane, number 14 PPA per rush, USC, number 123 on defense in that metric. Tulane, number 29 rushing success rate, at USC, number 127. Ty J. Spears is going to have a field day against this defense. Like they may not have, Michael Pratt may not have to throw the football at all, and they'll still be able to put up points here. The issue that you run into is, if Caleb Williams is healthy, Tulane's defense has not fared great against mobile quarterbacks. You could see the difference in UCF playing at Tulane just a few weeks ago. Or I'd say a few weeks ago. Back in week 10 or 11 or whatever it was, when you had a healthy John Rhys Plumley, that quarterback ran for like 176 yards on them. UCF won the ball game 38-31, but they were up by multiple touchdowns early because they couldn't figure out what to do against a mobile quarterback. Well, once John Reese Plumley was down with a hamstring injury in the AAC championship game, you got you got nothing after that. So of course Tulane won that ball game and, and won it rather handily. It's kind of kind of the same situation here. If Caleb Williams is not dealing with a hamstring injury, then USC will be able to score pretty much at will on this defense. PPA per rush for Tulane, number 107. Uh, they are number 96 rushing success rate allowed on defense. Well, USC is number 18 predicted points added per rush and number 6 in rushing success rate since week 8. They're number 4 PPA per pass. Now, Tulane's pass defense is pretty good. They've got a good secondary, especially for an AAC team. That's just overall college football really good. They're number 19 PPA per rush, number 30 in passing success rate allowed. This all comes down to, to me, is Caleb Williams healthy? Right now, I'm going to bank that he's not because that looked like a pretty serious injury. Right, give me give me Tulane here. Uh, Tulane is, is really good. These two teams are a lot more equally matched than you would think, uh, especially in the trenches. Like Tulane's got a, a better team strength uh, to me than USC does, even though the numbers say Tulane number 20 and USC number 13. I think at the line of scrimmage, Tulane has got some hog mollies. They got some dudes. So give me Tulane. I think they win this game outright. Give me the plus two and a half here. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.